Okay, so some people struggle to do the right thing. It might be food, it might be training, whatever. I'm going to talk fitness here today. And a lot of people really, really struggle to get on with it and really struggle to find their way. And I'm going to teach you a few simple steps of how to do this, okay? Rome wasn't built in a day. Everything just doesn't happen overnight. The problem is our mindsets are so bad these days, and I mean terrible. Not a little bit, it's terrible about what we get told of how things work and what we should look like and what we should be, that it, it basically kind of messes people up a little bit. It's almost like you sit there all day long going, oh, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. Instead of just doing something, you basically sit there and you're like, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. Okay, so simple thing. If you want to do a workout, start small. If, you're, if you feel like you're unfit or you feel like you haven't done much recently, go out there. Go out there. If it's, if it's raining, do something indoors. Start by doing push-ups against the desk, up and down. Even if you press up here, start doing push-ups on there. Okay, five. Just five today. That's all. Don't, don't, don't push your luck. It's five today. Don't injure yourself. Tomorrow, you're going to do six. And I guarantee you, by day three, you're going to say, actually, that's quite easy. I'm going to go for ten. But it becomes a habit after a while. The more and the more and the more you do something, the more it becomes habit. If you step onto the scale every single morning of your life, it becomes habit. It literally drains you. It takes all the energy out of your body. It will absolutely kill your brain off because what happens is every single time you make that habit, it becomes a problem. It becomes an illness. It doesn't become anything else. It becomes an obsession. It becomes an illness, but not a good thing. It's a bad thing. So what I need you to do is I need you to eat well. Eat well and feel better. Your inches will come down. Your body fat will reduce. You're going to get healthier. You're going to feel better. And then you'll also feel better for if you need to go and train. I don't just walk into the gym and go and lift the biggest weights after three months. And I've learned the lesson that if I do do that, I've got bad neck ache, I've, got, I've, I've pulled my lat muscles before, where I could hardly do a pull-up because I was so injured because of it. I've put my back out for five months before, this is years ago, completely messed myself up. Reason is you jump straight in there, go for it, and all of a sudden you can't keep up. You just cannot do it. Small steps at a time, every day, just a tiny little bit. Just start. All I'm going to do in the start, I just want to eat the first meal of my day, I want to make it the best meal. Okay, rest of the day, I know you're not going to follow it, maybe. You're not going to follow the routine that you should. Okay, but start the first meal. It's easy. Great, let's have eggs, avocado, let's have bacon, let's have this, let's have that, let's have the full fat Greek yogurt. And start by doing that. Just gently bring that in, okay? So that's the first day. Second day, yeah, I'm going to have another good first meal. Okay, three, four, five meals goes in. And all of a sudden you go, you know what? Now I'm going to start that second meal of the day, but I'm only going to do one. And so you fill in those little blocks. You color them in all the time, all the time. You color them in until you've got one colorful whole square. Okay? That's how you do it. Bit by bit, you go. If you try and jump in there, all guns blazing, go in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All this pumped up stuff. I can't stand it because it's the pumped up people that fall the fastest. It's normally the ones that just keep on going, the consistent ones that make it through to the other side. It's the, yeah, yeah, I am, I am, I want to I lose weight, yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm all fired up, mate. Send them over, send them over, send that plan. Two weeks later, I ask people, how are you getting on? Um, haven't started the plan yet because um, um, Sally down the road had a barbecue and basically they brought along 16 tons of cake and apparently when it's a barbecue, you've got to eat the cake, okay? If you just ate a little bit better every day, you would have been all right. You could have had the cake and you would have been okay. That's how it works. It's gradual things. You think I ate like this and I look like this because of what I did in one day. I will out eat any of you on this with chocolate. Any of you. I used to buy six slabs that big and I would eat it in my car on the way home. And I just eat it because who cared? I could do it. I was addicted to sugar. I could go, go, go and then break. Go, 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 break. And all I did is I started taking a less and less and less and started eating better and better and better. So my mindset got better. And eventually, the bad habit 
just became less and less and less. Now I love cooking food. I love coming in here thinking, what am I gonna eat now? I don't eat off a list anymore because I know what food is good and I know the portion size that I should stick to. But I eat enough so that I feel great. I can train hard, I can focus, my brain is basically much, much better. I concentrate a lot more, my work is better. It shows that it's all better. The reason being is I gave it time. If you've purchased this plan for three months, you will fail. You will never make it. Never. You're not going to make it. Prove me wrong then. But you won't make it because you're always going to be the same person. Too many people. And this whole thing about, oh, it's hereditary. I've got this hereditary, that. I've got my stomach's out here, but it's hereditary. No, 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 no. Hang on. You weren't born like that. If you were born like that, there was something wrong. Okay, something went wrong with the body. This may be a defect or something. Something went wrong with the body. So hopefully none of us were born like that. But the reason why the tummy's out here is because of what you do year by year. If you drink a lot of alcohol, what do you expect? Do you expect to have a six pack? I've never ever in my life seen a bodybuilder on stage going, beer, yeah, let's go on to the show now. It's, it's unheard of. You want a flat stomach, you gotta do the right things in order to get the right result, okay? You can do whatever, there's no loopholes in this system, no loopholes around it, no magic pill, no nothing. It's up to you to do the right thing. It's up to me to do the right thing. It's up to that person, that person, and that person to do the right thing and stick it out. I will always use that word, stick it out. Keep going, consistency, every day. If you struggle, you get back on again. Struggle, you get back on again. Struggle, you get back on again. You can do this. You can do this, you just have to try. If you're listening to this today, you haven't even started the plan yet, then go and go, you know what, next meal, I'm gonna have the best meal. I'm gonna have a really good meal because I wanna feel good, okay? Third meal, maybe not as good, tomorrow morning, now I'm gonna start a good meal again. And um, today I'm gonna go for a little walk, I'm gonna do a 10 minute walk, max. I'm gonna walk out five minutes, five minutes back, done. I feel good, I feel a little bit more refreshed. Exercise. It's amazing for the brain. It helps you, it focuses you. It takes away a lot of stress in your life as well. If you're a stressed out person and you're worried and things are going wrong, I and mean, don't get me wrong, we all have stress. I have this company that has to run and do you think it's not a stressful job? It is a stressful job. I have to still make sure that things go right. Same with you, if you're stressed out, Go out there, go and do a bit of exercise, something light. Run the spot, just stand in front of the TV. Watch the TV, run the spot, just do that, just up and down and fist. Once that gets going, your endorphins go as well. Your body changes, you feel a little bit better, you feel good within yourself. Do it. Just get on with it. The night saying, just do it, is the best saying I reckon ever. Just get on with it. Get yourself some nice food, make sure you don't have trash in the cupboards and stuff and break the habit. Create a new habit in your life. Create a better habit for yourself. And you'll get there, you will. So many people have done it. So many people will get there. But there's always this group that will stand this side of the line, doesn't matter what plan they buy, because that's just who they are. And they will accept that that's just who they are. But let me tell you something, that's not who you are. You can change, anybody can change. It's just, are you willing to change? That's the question. That is the main question. But you can do this, you just have to give it a go. Come on, eat a little bit better, train a little bit. If you feel like you need to train harder, if you've got loads of energy on the day, train a little bit harder. Just come back from the gym, we did a really good session because we felt good, we wanted to train harder, so we did. Why not? If you feel a little bit tired, take it easy. It's gradually, gradually, step by step. And sometimes just even the walking gets you fired up and you think, actually, I can do this, I can do a little bit more. Try it, give it a go, and you will be fine. I promise you, you'll be absolutely fine. But don't just give up. Don't just say, oh, I've got this plan, it doesn't work. Nothing works for you. you. You are one of those people that nothing will ever work for you. Don't become that, come on, step out. Be a little bit better within yourself. Look after yourself. It's about looking after yourself and looking after your health. It is about your health, first of all, that's number one. Is you being healthy, you feeling good, and you being there for your grandchildren, your children, and also setting a good example about how to eat and how to be a little bit more active, okay? So if you've listened to this and this helps you, go for it. If you need a bit more advice, text me. Say, look, I'm, I'm struggling here. Well, well, ask for some tips. Come on. You, I'm not going to charge you 100 quid for a tip. Text me. Say, look, I'm, I'm somebody that's struggling as well. 
ask me and I will, I will try and help you as much as I can. So uh, I hope this helped a little bit and uh, have a lovely afternoon. Enjoy it and think about it a little bit more. Thanks.